Hey, Gabriel Evans here. Today I'm just taking you into my sketchbook and sharing with you an image I've played around with for about a year now. And it is an image on the theme of bushfires. So living in Australia, bushfires just happen all the time. And um, they're a funny thing because they are both devastating for a lot of native animal habitat, but they're also very crucial for flora regermination. The one thing that always fascinates me about a bushfire though is going and visiting a place you know really well and where a bushfire has just been through and just seeing it. It's like a foreign landscape where these trees that were once you know beautiful and green are now these black skeletal looking objects and of course, in a, in a one or two months, those trees will once again be covered in leaves because they just regenerate so quickly. So in this particular sketch, what I'm trying to do is show a real strong contrast between the warmth generated from the bushfire as glowing in the trees, and then you have this beautiful blue, cool sky shining out from behind. So the sketchbook I'm using for this project is amazing in the respect that it will take a lot of wear and tear when it comes to watercolour. So as you can see, I'm, I'm laying quite a lot of paint and water on and it's coping really quite well. There is a little bit of buckling, as you can see, but as soon as I dry it off, it really kind of goes back flat and will accept new layers of paint, which is unusual. I've found anyway from experience when it comes to cartridge paper. I find after maybe two coats of paint, the paper really starts mottling up and getting quite damaged. Um, so if you're interested in chasing up this brand of sketchbook, I have attached a link in the information box below. The brushes I'm using for this particular project are a mixture. So I'm using a sable brush uh, a flat-headed nylon brush and a very thin-tipped nylon brush. I am also briefly use a hog hair brush just for some texture. Um, in fact, I use hog hair brushes quite a lot when it comes to watercolour painting because they do give a very rustic uh, textural feel to a painting. So at this point in time, all I'm trying to do is really lay up the amount of paint on this image because I want to have very kind of uh, in-depth texture. And I'm doing that by laying on colours but also drawing back some of those colours with my paper towel. And as you can see at this point, I'm using my hog hair brush just to do some flicking over painting and then pulling back some of those splatters with my paper towel which is lifting also the dry colour underneath and exposing the white of the paper. And I'm trying not to get too detailed in this picture so although I am using a very fine brush I'm letting it very quickly jump all over the actual picture itself without settling and focusing too much on one area because this picture is more about the overall effect rather than tiny little details. So I'll finish off by redrawing some of the lines back over with a pencil and I'm using a Faber-Castell Polychromis black pencil which are really good because they don't actually smudge if you lay colour back over them. And there we go after the fire. Thanks for watching.